What's going on YouTube? This is Sean. I am finally back again and in this video we are going to do a custom shoe paint job. Yeah, I was at the mall watching the movie in game and I was really sad and I walked past these shoes and I saw that star and I was like, you know what? I got an idea. So um, yeah, let's just get right into this. Why don't we? And first thing we're going to do is going to remove the shoelace because duh, we don't want to get paint all over it. And here are the Angelus products that I'm going to be using. I'm going to start off by cleaning out my shoe with some Angelus deglazer, some leather preparer. Then I'm going to hit it with some blue, some red, black for some shading maybe, and some white just because I know I'm going to need to touch up. I'm not perfect and I know I'm going to screw it up. And then I'm going to clear coat it with some satin. And since I don't feel like masking anything off and using my airbrush because I don't have any too thin. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this paintbrush that's been sitting around for a minute. I even got some older paintbrush too that I'm going to use. Now that I got all my supplies, I'm going to take off the clear coat or the finished coat that's on the shoes right now. I'm going to use my Cricut Maker Air Error 2 yeah something like that to cut out some stencils i got some scrap vinyls just kind of sitting around and i got a design that i picked out off the internet and i went and vectored it out and now the cricket is cutting it out for me is it cricket or cree cut you have to look that up there are a few pros and cons with this little cree cut but um, it's easier to use than my plotter. One thing I don't like about it is that the uh, software is browser based and yeah that's a big downer for me. So I went ahead and cut out a circle to mask off the center of the design which is going to be the star shield thingy and also cut out a bunch of little dots to cover the shoelace eyelet but I ended up not using it. And it didn't really stick too well to the shoe. I think maybe I need to find some better vinyl because I'm sure this has been done before. I mean, I didn't really come up with this idea. I actually seen someone else do it and uh, it's not working out for me. Now I'm going to use a guitar pick. It doesn't have to be that particular brand. I don't even know what brand it is, but I'm using it to push the vinyl into the crevices so that way I don't get any paint bleed but I still get it I can't avoid it but you'll see later on and I even tried using a heat gun to activate the adhesive on the vinyl and that didn't work either but you know what I'm just gonna go with the flow and just work with what I got I'm gonna start off by painting around the star with the blue paint and um, you probably figured out what I'm doing right now. I am going to rebrand this Chuck with uh, the Captain America shield. And I'm also going to paint this front part right here with um, blue. Now, I, I was being really careful and trying not to get any paint on the eyelet. Since I didn't bother using the little dots that I cut out. And I didn't think it was going to stick since it didn't stick too well to the shoe. So why is it going to stick on these shoelace eyelet? I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I didn't feel like masking anything off. That's why I'm just using a paintbrush and carefully going at it. Now, I'm no Picasso and I knew I was going to mess it up here and there, but that's okay. I mean, just, um, just, they're just shoes, bro. Now I'm pretty much winging it and I figured, you know what, I might develop a technique to work around these eyelets. So I just went ahead and, and experimented. I was trying to push the paint around the, the edges. And then I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to go ahead and go at it. And eventually I figured it out. I was like, you know, if I just go carefully at it, then... I can just work my way around the eyelet and this is just the first coat and it looks kind of rough but then the second coat really hides all those extra I mean hides all that imperfection 
but then you know some of that imperfection is perfection now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second coat on this side and you can start to see where it starts to hide things I guess makes things more solid I guess the color more solid now instead of being more careful around the eyelet I just went ahead and paint right over it and uh, I'll figure out how to remove it later eventually I mean it's not the end of the world you know what I'm saying it's a lot easier than trying to uh, work my way around it now this part was a little tedious this little star right here but I figured you know what I'm gonna go ahead and paint that blue too I notice I did get some paint outside the line but I got some q-tips and I put some airbrush paint reducer on there and it cleaned it out pretty nicely and it also worked around the eyelet too so uh, yeah problem solved I told you I'll figure it out and it also works pretty good as far as removing uh, paint where you don't want it to be now it will smear it it won't remove it completely I think but you can always throw like a different color on top of it you know and just 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 pretend like you meant to do it that's what I do you know sometimes things don't go as planned and uh, you're you're dealt with the I, I, I don't know I don't know where I was going to go with that, but um, point is, it didn't it didn't work the way I wanted it to. I mean, you could tell right there that the uh, paint did bleed underneath the, the stencil, but that's okay. I'm going to use a Q-tip with some paint reducer on there, and it will clean out the edges, no problem. And I plan on throwing some red paint over there, over that area anyway, so it's not the end of the world, like I said. But yeah, uh, a Q-tip with some paint reducer on there and works pretty good. There I am trying to squeeze the stencil down so that way it doesn't bleed on my next coat of paint. But um, it didn't work. Just letting you know, spoiler alert. Um, just have to be really careful with the uh, fine brush and eventually you will achieve greatness or something like that so what i'm basically going to do is i'm going to try to get the outline of the red area done so that way i can go ahead and remove the stencil because the more i look at it the more it's annoying me knowing that it's not working out for me but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get the outlines done and maybe on the next project I'm gonna try to just pencil the graphics in there before um, I I paint maybe I'll do some research and find some better vinyl um, these are actually pretty cheap vinyl that I had laying around and I figured I'd put them to use I mean it didn't stick to anything barely stuck in my car or window so kind of figured uh, use it but then again there's a reason why I didn't you know what I'm saying so now that I pretty much got the outline done I'm gonna go ahead and peel it out and as you can tell it bled right there really nasty bleeding because you know red blood never, never mind but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and use a q-tip with some airbrush paint reducer and it seemed to remove it just fine but then, you know, I was planning on going back and painting it with white to go over it. But it seemed like it got it out good enough. So maybe I might not have to. Who knows? Um, as for the rest of the area right here, I'm just going to be super, super careful and go along that blue line. Making sure I don't go over. I might have. But if you caught it, then you're being way too picky and you're way too hard on me okay it's it's, it's just it's, they're just shoes bro so as for this side i plan on making that red reach around or yeah come around to this other side so i thought that was kind of a cool effect i don't know y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below 
And some of y'all are probably thinking, why didn't I mask it all off? Well, you know how well that tape worked. I mean, it's just going to be extra cleanup. So it's just easier for me and quicker if I just be a lot more careful with the paintbrush and just go at it really nice and easy and just be aware of where the tip of my paintbrush is. Now, if I was going to use an airbrush, then yeah, it would make sense to uh, mask things off with uh, masking tape, but yeah. Now I'm going to take some white paint and touch up the areas that needed to be touched up. My star is starting to look kind of funky, but uh, if you notice it, then you're being too hard on me. Now I'm going to add some gray to this, uh, uh, I don't know what you call this part, this cushiony uh, cushion area. And I'm also going to add some gray to the tongue and um, yeah, because why not? Well, the reason why I wanted to change the color of the tongue was because um, I'm going to use the old shoelaces and I want the sh shoelace to stand out. So yeah, figured why not? I mean, gray is kind of cool. Actually, I tried to go with silver, but I didn't have any silver on hand. But maybe in a future project, I don't know, maybe. So now I'm gonna use a hair dryer to accelerate the drying process. I'm gonna let it sit for about, I don't know, for a little bit before I add some satin clear coat on there. And uh, yeah, I like satin because it's like not as shiny as gloss, but um, I didn't have any matte because if I did, I, I would have used a matte clear because I think those are cooler too, but it, it all depends. So far, so groovy, and I'm digging what I'm cooking. I hope you're digging it too. These new shoes are super legit now. I mean, y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all think. I'm just going to go ahead and lace up my shoes. I got no fancy tricks as far as lacing shoes go, but uh, yeah. Alrighty tidy. let's turn down the lights, cue the music, and enjoy the glamour shots. I want to thank Angela's brand for hooking it up with some awesome acrylic paint. And if you're interested in doing shoe mods like this, then check the link in the description down below. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, shoe design. And I've been on a mission trying to learn some new stuff. And I'm really eager to share with you guys all the new techniques and uh, things that I've got myself into. So uh, yeah, um, uh, don't forget to follow all my social network and uh, I'll see you in the next one.